Well, yeah, the, the, guy, the, the owner of the dog dies, okay? And then um, once the owner of the dog dies, the, the kid starts looking after uh, the dog, but um, just feeding him, you know, like he ended up becoming like a kind of like a stray. And then he gets struck by a car. And as you guys seen on the operating table, he looked like he had no hope whatsoever. Um, before that, on the crash scene, the guy said, put him to sleep. Put this guy to sleep because it looks like he's got no hope. He's actually like uh, breathing blood coming out of his nose and everything. So um, we ended up rescuing him, operating on him. It's been about nearly two weeks now uh, since the operation. So he's strong, we were, we were afraid that he might stay on the table, uh, on the operating table because he's an old dog and not every dog can uh, handle the uh, sleepers. So looks like he's gonna make it. You know, as far as it goes, so he could die tomorrow, he could die today, we don't know, but uh, it's all about giving them a fighting chance and not giving, putting them to sleep, you know? Like, if we feel like we, that we know that there's a chance for survival, we want to give them that chance. Not in the best condition today, but I mean, if, like I said, if, you get, if she gets, it's a she, sorry, if she gets through this, then get you, if she gets through this, then she's gonna be a very lucky survivor. I'll tell you that, very very lucky survivor. And that's what we're trying to do. Give her another chance. Just getting rid of all the infection um, post surgery. Amazing. Well, she's got great energy. Very friendly. Um, doesn't knows that we're helping her, you know what I mean? She hasn't tried to uh, bite us or anything. She hasn't used any of those soft defense mechanisms. Um, we, just, we just need to uh, give her that fighting chance. You know, just like every human has a fighting chance, we give these dogs a fighting chance as well. Bubble line antibiotics, so you know, try keeping her uh, thing, you know, her room as sterile as we can in here. Um, you know, this is the best we can do right now. This is the best facility we've got, and um, with the funds that we've got, with the situation that we got, this is the best we can do right now. So, um, uh, yeah, I'd like to thank everybody that's, that's uh, helping us out as well, um, you know, supporting us along the way. Some people are sending money on PayPal, some people are becoming a member. Um, it's great, it helps, anything helps. At the end of the day, this is uh, mainly self-funded, so it, it does, uh, it definitely takes a toll out of me. I'll be gone for about a week. I'll be going to work, um, so I'll, go, I'll be going to the city, and one day if I can get this uh, to operate on its own, without doing, having to do any other work, I'll be doing this full time because it's something I enjoy doing. Okay. See the eye? Can I wrap on the eye? The right eye is a bit... Oh. 
she's uh, doing very, very well. You know, like, seeing as though she went through an operation at an old age like this, you know, um, she's recovered quite well. <clears throat> so, let's see what's going to hold, what, what her future's going to hold. If you're going to adopt her out, will be great. She can't, she's not fit for the streets, so she'll definitely be uh, living with someone that can take care of her, either here or somewhere else. We can house her till she dies, so uh, we've got the facilities for it, the resources and everything. Um, yeah, she's here. Just got to give her some water. First time out of the cage in a very long time. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get, 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 Felt like it's more safer in here, so she went back in. She didn't go out, so she started to walk around, and um, that's a good thing. And uh, she's wagging her tail. She was growling at us at one stage, so now it's it's all good. Yeah. 